One of the things I, mean, I like about He's struggling to score as he should, but if he can get himself going defensively, the offense will come. And Cooper is. and one off the window. He caused a strip, and I think that got him a little comfortable, and now you see he goes and gets himself an old-fashioned three-point play. Shackleford, the open three. Four, weak side, and here comes Cooper with the push to the left side and in. Cooper directing traffic, trying to wrap it. Second chance, got it. Thing I like about Bruner, he just kind of is calm. You know, you can tell he's an older guy. That was some serious elevation. Cooper able to split the double on the hoop of his own! Primo's hand every time they're in half court. Here we go. Here is Cooper to the left, into the lane, count it! On the rim. Watch Cooper's chin as he plays through contact here. See how he keeps his chin up? Here's the difference. Look at, you can see the back of his head go up in the biggest rivalry, and Primo looks like he's 28 years old playing. He has been solid so far. The reason I said earlier, possession, bad shot, take a force one, is what you just saw. Reese hits the shot. Look at this. this is the reason not Continue what has been their best SEC start in 34 years. 3-0 and alone atop the standings. And Cooper one hand it up. Is do right. He just does right in a basketball game. Got a couple of triples now and a couple of digits. How about this? You get a big on I mean, Bruner's trying too much. Now look, if Cooper's going to beat you with this, then so be it. I mean, that's good defense. Nothing you can do. All right. Trinity Bruner, no. And finally, Auburn clears. Here comes Cooper. On the break and the lead. And with his finger. Feels good to lay out. Let a crowd go. Look at that lob from the freshman to Cambridge. And you said it with his fingertip. They're on their feet at Auburn Arena. Great possession. Cooper with the takeaway. And the lead. 16 points, six rebounds for Bruner. Cooper, the hesitation, finds four. Couple of freshmen coming up huge, Dan. Oh, watch how he has it. See how he hesitated right there. And when the defense raises up, he explodes. And four. Right there. Oh, man. Cooper has terrific eye. For Sharif Cooper, the five star. Alan Flanagan in a more natural position. Instead of having to run the point, JT Thor. Goal at the carnival. Tigers lead it 8-4. Cooper attacking off glass count in his first. Kamara inside on the look from Johnson. Can't finish. Kamara would be better off using some ball fakes. Get defenders up off the floor. Here's with the three balls and with the transition buckets at times. Uh, they're, they're a fun team to watch. And, you know, the wins haven't really followed yet this year. The expectation, if you will, of Sharif Cooper in transition has great court vision. I talked about that in the open. First to Williams, and then on the last play, Cambridge is the recipient. Talking about the tournament, which we believe is going to take place this year, and it's a big deal to pick up those quad one wins. Well, think about this. You, the committee is still going to end block, but Garcia stayed with the play, created the loose ball, and. Then Johnson was able to finish. Again, Cooper finding a big. Take another look at Cooper and his great vision. He threw one of these passes to JT Thor. Ask me again. Flanagan benefits Cooper, right? Oh, there's no question. Cooper is the guy that, and I talked about this in the open, he is the piece of the puzzle that makes all the other. I think that's a bit of a work in progress. Five on the shot clock for Cooper. There he goes, inside off black. Well, every Georgia run that we've seen this evening has been matched by Auburn. 
The bounce pass. Cardwell attacking. This play doesn't get in a hurry. Reads the defense off the second ball screen. Little fake. And Georgia changes the way you play totally. And for Auburn, remember this, it wasn't just Okoro. Auburn lost four double. Yeah, I think this is the most offensive group of teams that in the SEC that I've seen in a long time. But, Roy, I want to go back to that Alabama. Up there. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Not only a tall team, Roy, but a bouncy team. Yeah. Case in point, Cambridge. This season? I mean, he may have one in him tonight by the time it's all <laughs> said and done. Attacking. How about that move, the finger roll? How much different would this team look right now? Well, again, I, I, we're seeing some of it on display here tonight, the artistry. You've got to find offense. Johnson, a strong finish. Give him 12. The head. In the Both sides well, telling us how emotional they got and just finding out the news. Go ahead. And it's almost like that bad second half has spilled over into this game. And I would agree. 25. Learn to play with the old veterans and the young, talented freshmen. I do think they've got to get better offensively. Oh, what a. We talk about the vision, the spin move, the off dribble, the off hand. Just move without the ball. If you're going to play, how fun would it be to play with Sherman? Bowler picked up the foul. I'm sorry, he goes to the bench, picked from behind. Cambridge, Cooper, Alley, that's what he does. And they're not sure if they called it on Toppin, but his reaction indicates so. Here's the alley -oop. Yeah, Cooper is, the, the ball is electric in terms of in and out of his hand. That's a slow motion replay. If you watch this guy play live, Rabbi. And they were the switch with Brooks. Different guys and different coverages on two and white. Four, grab it in traffic. Three jerseys around him. And what a look. Deep, good defense, and it's denied. Good luck. Is in the top five in both adjusted offensive efficiency and adjusted defensive efficiency. Both top five. If you're on the side. Similar to the, the the ice action that Auburn does on those side ball screens, they do it the entire game. Cooper was so deep, he would oh, missed that up, missed it. Two blue shirts go after it. Flanagan battled him. We got a two on one. That's just a great left handed pass. And on the other end, and we'll see if Kentucky can capitalize on it. Cooper to the hole, great right dump off and an easy flush. Reels driving it into a no play part of the floor. There's what I'm talking about by Cooper, man. He, he knew from the time right there, he knows where he's going with the ball. He says, when am I going to have a little bit of an opening to get it there and continue to come back and fight? And now it's a one-possession game. Cooper Alley, you oh, don't want to pass. Game, 45 seconds to play. Brooks hedges on Cooper. He goes to the rack, lays it up and in. Sharif Cooper. Strong ball guard going to the rim, but... Bruce Pearl feeds his guys with so much confidence as a shooter, Beth. The only thing he's against is early. Gets into the paint. Cannot knock it down. Just never has been a score, Seventh Woods. That added a good clip, and you have to be a tough, physical defender at your spot. He's not there on the two. I work on his game? Yes. I, I, I say yes because I think, look at the vision, man. Nightly on film that Bruce Pearl talks about. And he understands winning plays. Against LSU was amazing. All threes and layups. Cooper going to have a chance from deep. And he'll not. I have with people like, you know, my, my friends Doris Burke and, and Jessica Mendoza and, and, you know, Holly Rowe. You think, you think Anthony Jordan said that to Kobe? You know, Dane Sun did this the other day. Nice feed. And that's from two. Conzo Martin has taken Xavier Pinson out of the game. No field goals yet for the Tigers, one free. He's certainly fast enough, and as he learns to get himself in the right position defensively. Mitchell Smith, the senior from Arkansas, drills the first field goal for Missouri. Wow, on that base. But again, another sensational law. Penetration kills. I mean, and if you can't stop the...
Cooper attacking. Excellent feed. He's so good. You just can't keep him out of the lane. And it's too tempting to come over and help. But if you're Wilmore 32, you can't come help deep. But with the two-point advantage. Now Cooper breaking down. Pinson. Step back. A staple of Bruce Pearl's offense. Easy offensive foul call. A freshman from down the road in Powder Springs, Georgia. With seven points, make it nine. Five. Send you 94 feet, had the speed. And I just love seeing some of these smaller guards be the best player on the court. And there he is with it. Rebound to Williams. Cooper. Lob it up. Cambridge. The defender from Missouri knows it's coming. He's like, do I stop the ball? Do I stop the oop? And Cooper's like, I'm not going to throw it till you come at me. And when you get an athlete like Cambridge, where you can throw it late, and he's still going to get it with ease. Everything seems to be aligning right now for the Tigers at this point in the season. A lot of momentum. And with a three-point. The Wizard, 17 and counting. Now what Coach Pearl tell us? They said he's kind of like a quarterback. We just try to block and give him space to go make a play. And that's what they do. Get Cooper in a position to be successful. Let him go. Sights on the end zone. Rolls through. One of the things well, I like about really Pearl good guards is shot John. His passing is way more dangerous. Even though he's averaging 22, it's a high volume set of shooting. Goes to the goal. Put first team All American and. If this team wasn't so balanced, you'd certainly put him in the mix for player of the year along with Luka Garza.